Hello guys and welcome back to Building Brick Studios. And today we are going to be doing some basic editing in Blender. Um, as I promised, we are finally going to get into uh, the Blender 2.69 version. So first what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to open up your Blender, but I already have mine open. And then what you're going to do is you're going to click File, Import, 3D Studio. And then you're going to select your model and import it. Um, and what you're going to see here is you got all these pieces. Now what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to click on um, this little triangle thing. And you're going to click shift as you hold down so that all these pieces become... What we want to do is we want to join all these pieces of the set into one. Now this can get very time consuming sometimes. So um, I'm not 100% sure if there's another way to do this quicker. Uh, you might want to look that up and if you do find a simpler way let me know in the comments below. But anyways, um, you only have to do this for objects that are going to be moving. So obviously if you were to import some kind of like a Lego city or anything, obviously that's just standing still so you wouldn't have to um, select all these pieces. Now um, if you haven't noticed, um, so you hold down shift while you're doing this. Um, you hold down shift and you have to let go of shift if you want to scroll down um, like this. You can scroll up and down. But then you have to hold shift again to continue to select these pieces here. Um, all of these. And then you click the over here under object. You can click join. And boom, look at that. One piece. All one piece right here. Now if you right click on it, um, right click you can move it around um, and now here's what you guys can do the basic moving is the green arrow the red arrow and the blue arrow and now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on the world over here well actually yeah we're gonna go on this world Oops, sorry about that we can make this bigger now um, so yeah you don't click on this you click on the world um, and next what you're gonna do I'm gonna make this black so that we get I'm just going to make our background like stars, like it's in outer space and such. So we can render, render the image to make sure the background looks good. And it looks very nice. Now what we're going to actually do, I'm going to zoom out here a bit. Um, I'm going to actually click on the lamp. And I'm actually going to right click. I'm going to, whoops. Let's see here. Make that a bit. Whoa, what the heck? And then you left click make it stay. Um, we're going to render the image again. Now it's more clear because now we actually have some lighting on it. Okay, now what we might want to do, we might want to make the ship bigger. So what we can do, if, if, what, here um, are the basic things. Um, what we can do is, uh, let's see, over here. So, uh, where was that? Scale. Scale. Right here. Um, what you can do is you can uh, on scale. Um, what you gotta do is you gotta do this, and then you basically drag, or you can use um, some hotkeys to make that bigger. But I like to use this better so it's more controlled. So um, now that we have made it bigger, um, we can render the image again. And uh, let's actually what we can come we can do is we can come down here. Um, actually rotate the Republic gunship. Render, render image. Um, and now it looks better. Um, and if the pieces look too rocky to you, um, what you can actually do is you can click on uh, where is it? smooth and it actually smooths them out. But um, this gives it more of a cartoony look. render image. Um, which you can see it's more of a cartoony. Um, and that's okay in some situations, but um, uh, but for now I think I might just keep it more rocky. But I'm actually going to turn on environmental lighting over here. Um, this will make it even more light. So we can render the image now we can see it even more. Alright, and I'm going to um, click flat to make it unsmooth. So now you can see that. Now if 
we want to change the camera view. I'm actually going to show you guys. If you guys want to scroll around um, in the Blender views, um, I am actually using the number pad. Um, I'm using number eight. I'm pressing number eight right now. And that, um, you can go up and down. Eight is up, two is down. Um, four is left, six is right. And if you hold it, then it'll just keep going. Um, this is number one. Um, seven gives you a top view. Three gives you a side. And obviously you can edit your views however you like it. However you want it to look. Now, um, now what you can do is, uh, you can change your camera angle, so we can actually click on the camera, and then we can scroll over, and then we can actually rotate it, render, render the image, whoops, you can't see it in that angle, can we? Sometimes it helps to <laughs> line up your, um, line up So, um, I'm just going to make this more straightforward, and then we're going to make this more straightforward. Whoops. Click on the camera again. Over here. Now, we should be able to see it. There we go. Now, you can see it more clear. Now, um, one thing you may notice is when you um, are inside environmental lighting, sometimes it makes it look um, a bit grainy. Um, so actually for this video, I was just showing you that I think what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to turn off the environmental lighting. Though I'm going to take the lamp and I'm actually going to click the eye on wall on it so we don't see it. And I'm going to click object. It's object. No, we're actually going to insert. Add. And then we're going to go over a lamp. And we're going to put in the sun. Yeah. Now I personally like the sun much better. Render, render image, and now bam, you can see it. I'm just gonna raise it up a bit. And now you guys are probably like, oh, okay, yeah, yeah, enough with the lighting and all this other stuff. Though that is very important, let's get into the actual animation as I promised. Okay, first off, you gotta be selected on so that this is all selected in orange and you got the arrows on here. What you're gonna wanna do um, is position it. I'm gonna make it like this. Let's just make sure if this looks good. All right. What you want to do is anything that you're going to want to um, show, you're going to want to do it in front of the camera. Um, so right now we can't, we can see a little bit of the gunship, but I'm going to actually back it all the way up so that you can't see almost any of the gunship at all. All right. So first, what we're going to do, um, the first step in the animating process, make sure that you're at zero or number. Start number one, and what you're going to do is you're going to go over here. You're gonna, under keyframes. You're going to click insert location, and now you'll notice that there's this little white or yellow, um, little yellow um, keyframe. Just kind of represents something. Now what you're going to do is you're going to bring the gunship. First, we have to set this. Well, actually, we got to move it. Move it on the path that you want it to do. Whoops. Um, and then you're going to set it. The closer it is to the yellow, the faster the ship is going to fly by. I'm just going to do it at about 35. And then I'm going to click Insert Location. And now you'll see that... Um, Click, let's click the back arrow here, and we can click play, and we can actually watch the animation. And you can see the gunship actually flew right by. You can see how cool that looked. Um, so that's just a very simple animation. Um, let's see. Now let's say you wanted to, like, okay, I'm done with my animation. As I said, this is only basic, so I'm only going to do a location keyframes at the moment. Let's say you were like, oh, okay, um, I'm done with this. I want to see it, what it's going to look like as I do it in the film. Um, how do I do that? 
So first what you're going to do is you're going to come over into the very first that looks like a camera. And what you're going to do is you're going to scroll down and you're going to want to go under output. Now this is very important here. Click on this folder. And then we are going to choose, we're going to choose our desktop. This is basically where you're going to save it to. So I would definitely um, recommend your desktop and you're going to change, this is very important. Unclick overwrite. And then instead of PNG, we want AVI raw. This will go into almost any movie making um, type of thing. Now, um, another thing, um, from start over here to end, that's how much it's going to render. So you can just keep going on and on and on. You can make your animations as long as possible. But this is only 35 where it ends. So we're going to make this 35 just so that we're not wasting time doing an extra long render. So you can see it's only start to finish. Um, now it's only like this highlighted. So next what we're going to do is we're going to come over here and we're going to click animation. And I do know for Macs it goes much faster in rendering as I used to do this on Windows, but now I do it on Macs. Um, and right now you can see that it's actually rendering the animation. All right. Now that it's finished, we will go out here to our desktop, and bam, look at this. Um, we have our video, so we're just now going to double click on it. And then um, QuickTime Player is going to open it up. Now, um, this is going to look super cool for some of you people who used to use like GIMP or like Paint or any of those things for your animations, but you can see that this is less than one second. Actually, it's only one second. And let's see here, we click play, and boom, there goes our ship. And you can see it looks awesome, and that was fairly fast, so boom. And you could make it slower by maybe doing, instead of um, 35 frames, you could do instead 60, and then it would be twice as slow. So you can see that. Um, that's pretty awesome. Alright, we're just going to not save this or convert it at the moment. Um, we're going to go back into Blender here. We click the escape button to get out of this view. And now let's say um, we wanted to have this quickly turn around and then like come back or something. Um, what we can do is next we can insert rotation. Then uh, we're going to click on this. We're going to bring it up to that. And then we're going to have it rotate. And then we're going to insert location. So now let's view this, what it's going to look like now. Whoops, we got to make this. We'll now put this back to 200. Alright, now let's check it out. Whoops, that didn't do what it's supposed to do. Um, and to delete any of these, um, what you can do, is you can actually, um, this is, um, you can go into the animation bar, and this is very advanced. We're not going to quite get into this yet. Um, this is um, very um, complex, but this is going to be in a different tutorial. Um, but okay, we want to do. Alright, we're going to get out of this. We can go back to default. Alright, we're going to insert. Location. Actually, if you want all three, you can click on lock rot scale. We're going to do that, and then we're going to zoom up here, turn around the ship, insert, lock, rock, scale, and now it should, boom, I did a quick little zoom around. And now if we want it to come back, we can do insert location, and then go back to our arrows, and zoom it up to here. We'll do it to 60. And then we'll bring it past. And then insert location. And now we have a full animation. Whoops, we gotta go all the way back. Alright, so now we got it. Boom, quick turn, and then comes back. So you guys can see that. Now what you're gonna do is come back over here, go in, go to 60, because that's where we stopped. And now, we won't waste any rendering time, 
And you can see that that turn was very fast. So let's say if we move this yellow to about the 50, um, it would be slower and look more like a natural turn. But um, anyways, we're just going to render this and uh, see what it looks like. And we're just going to click on the animation button. Um, this one may take a bit longer just because it is um, 60 frames as opposed to 35. But um, if you're doing this, um, I would I do this on my um, Mac mini computer. Um, it will be sh uh, longer if you're doing it on the uh, Windows, um, unless you have a very fast Windows. Um, it all depends on your operating system. But um, anyways, you can see that this is already done. Alright, see we have the 1, 2, 60, and if we want to rename this, we can click on it and then click enter. Enter, and then we can retype the name. I'll just click new rotate. Whoa. New rotate, alright. And then we can double click on it to view it, and it will do its little converting thing. Now you can see that this one's three seconds. We click play. We don't even see it turn, and then it comes back and stops right in front of us. So, um, guys, that was the basic animation tutorial. I um, hope you guys enjoyed. If this helped you out, um, click the subscribe button. Um, in the next upcoming video, I'm going to be going more over Blender and what you can do in here. Um, and I'm going to be doing more advanced animation, um, like uploading scenes and different kinds of things. Anyways, I thank you guys for watching. Um, please rate, comment, and subscribe. Um, and tune into the future um, tutorial videos. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, see you next time. Bye.